A hotel in a quiet Welsh village with just 400 residents is being rammed full of some 200 migrants, at a cost of £6.8 million to British taxpayers. The 106-room Hilton Garden in Indalgarog, a sleepy community in the Snowdonia National Park, has been booked all the way to spring 2023 a short-term solution to the ever-worsening boat migrants crisis in the English Channel, according to Britain's incompetent home office at great expense, at a time when Britons are being told they can expect to have tax hikes and public service cuts inflicted on them in order to control inflation. This is a small village and we cannot cope. We weren't told a thing. They just suddenly arrived, one alarmed father said of the migrants who have inundated Dalgarog in comments to the Sunday. I'm shocked the migrants have been put here. They are all adult men. They belong in a city, not a village in Wales, concurred a local mother. Dalgarog boasts few amenities, among them a post office, a single cafe, a single restaurant, two shops and one pub based at the hotel itself unlikely to be of much interest to the typical asylum seeker given most currently hail from Muslim-majority countries such as Albania and Afghanistan, and no longer likely to be appealing to nervous local residents, if they are even still allowed at the hotel now it has been taken over by the government. The move to pack the Hilton Garden Inn has seen the reservations of regular customers and events including wedding celebrations summarily cancelled, with one bride complaining of been having left mere days to make alternative arrangements. A similar impact on paying customers has been seen elsewhere in Britain, for example at the luxurious Victorian country mansion Stoke Rockford Hall in Lincolnshire, England, where at least three weddings were cancelled as a result of what local media described as a compulsory contract to FLL the venue with migrants. Six local governments namely Fenland District Council, East Riding of Yorkshire Council, Great Yarmouth Borough Council, Ipswich Borough Council, North Northamptonshire Council, and Stoke City Council have already taken the central government led by Conservative Party leader Rishi Sunak to court over the Home Office inundating their areas with migrants, often with minimal or zero consultation, complaining public services are being overwhelmed at a time when their budgets are being constrained. All told, the policy of hosting migrants in hotels at the taxpayers' expense is currently costing the United Kingdom approximately £7 million a day and rising.